Good morning or evening or afternoon, wherever you happen to be. Uh, hopefully the sound is going to be better on this one. I'm experimenting with this brand new fancy mic, but I still don't know how to use the darn thing. So anyway, uh, we learned a little bit about the basics of Tabmon, the last few uh, blog entries and uh, videos. And now we're going to get into some more advanced stuff. We're going to learn about how to connect to some of the, the smarts behind the scenes of Tableau Server directly. This is sort of the same mechanism that Tabmon is using under the covers. So it's good for you to know how to do it yourself without Tabmon because when you do so, you can find all sorts of cool, sort of interesting things. Now, the first thing that you need is a free tool called JConsole, and it is part of the Java SDK. So if you don't have that installed, uh, you should come in and Google for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look for the Java SDK. Here it is, the Java SE Development Kit 8.0. I'm on Windows right now. You are going to have to sign your life away and agree that Oracle is great, and then you can uh, download this guy. So you'll go ahead and, uh, and download it. It'll take uh, a minute or two, and I just did this, so I may actually have this sitting in my downloads folder. Probably would be smarter if I go there, but then again, you might actually see all of the terrible stuff I have in my downloads folder, so I'm not going to do that. We'll just go ahead and wait for this. There we go. We'll go ahead and install it. I only want the tools. I don't care about having source code on my system and I don't need the runtime engine because I already have it installed. Cool, so that's done. Got JConsole installed now. And the next thing that we're going to do is launch this sucker. So I'll get to a command prompt. And if this was in my path, I could just launch it right from here, J console, but it's not. Instead, I'm gonna to have to navigate to it. It's in program files, Java. We're going to a JDK folder. There's the name of it, but uh, here's everything in that folder. You can see I only have a couple things, so I'll go to JDK. And then I'm going to get into bin. Here I can launch J console. All right, there it is. So now I can play around with this. Now, if I'm on the Mac, it's pretty much the same thing. I've already installed it. So you don't have to wait for me to do that a second time. I'm just going to launch uh, a command window, a terminal window, maybe, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling professional today and we'll, uh, we'll type in J console. All right. So there we go. Now the next thing that you need to know is what to actually connect to. You get a hint about this in the Tabmon documentation. So I would go ahead and, and read up on the, the basic format of the string that we're going to use there. But the, the tricky thing is knowing what ports that you actually want to connect to. And I'm gonna show you how to figure that out. There's a great tool that you can use, and you can actually use anything to do this, but I love using a tool called Agent Ransack. It's a fantastic tool that you can use to sort of rip apart configuration files and find things of interest. And you can see here, the last time I used it, I was searching through uh, Tableau server folders, looking for any mention of the word JMX. And I'm just gonna start that again. And the file in question, I've already mentioned this, is tasks.yaml. And inside tasks.yaml, what you're going to find is essentially the actual command line that is used to launch the various Tableau server processes. Now, I'm running Tableau server on, uh, on a virtual box image on top of my Mac. So I'm only running one process uh, per task here. I'm gonna open this up, but it looks like if I wanted to connect to, let's say, the VizQL server, it's right here, that's on line uh, 76, I could open this up in Notepad if I wanted to, or if I just kinda keep on scrolling through here, there we go, you see? JMX remote port equals 9400. So now I know the port that I'm going to connect to. Let's get back into my Mac. And I actually cheat a little bit. I just created a, a little text file 
where I keep all of this stuff ready to go. So let me get that up here. And here is the connection to my VizQL server. I'm gonna grab that. And I'm just gonna paste that here. So now I'm connecting from my Mac to Tableau server. Gonna get a little message saying, do you wanna make an insecure connection because I'm not going over SSL? I sure as hell do. And then uh, I'm connected. Now I can see how much uh, RAM is being used by my VizQL server process, how many threads are being spun up, how many classes are loaded, and how much CPU this single process is using right now. And that's kind of cool if I want to do real-time measurement, but the really cool stuff is over here under mBeans. You see this? TableauHealth.jmx. This is something that the guys and gals at Tableau added to allow us to monitor what's going on in Tableau. So I'm gonna open that up and right here, VizQL service and then under operations, I have a little button here that I can choose. Get performance metrics. So let's go ahead and click that. And right now, this is all the stuff that's happening in my VizQL server. Now you'll see that nothing is happening. I have zero sessions. I haven't hit or miss my cache at all. Uh, what else is of interest? Oh, I'll, I'll focus on one a little bit later, but I'll leave this as is. So nothing has happened here. And that's because right before I started recording, I actually bounced my server. So let's go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go back to Windows, or in fact, I can just do it from here, or maybe even, uh, ah, I'll just do it in Windows. Who cares? I'm gonna go ahead and log into my server. We'll go to localhost, and there we go. And why don't I run any visualization that I see right here? Maybe this one. So that's running. Let's scroll back here. Now let's look at metrics. And you can see that when I logged in and started doing things, well, things started happening inside the process. I have one active session. Looks like I generally got some abstract cache hits. That's awesome. That's the way things are supposed to work. And let's see what else we have. Sessions in flight is zero. This is a really interesting one. Uh, an active session that we see at the top, I've already mentioned this before, doesn't necessarily mean that work is going on right at the moment I click that button. This guy down here, however, the sessions in flight does. So let's see what happens if I do this. I'm going to come back and why don't I maybe use Firefox instead and we'll get into server again. But I'm going to get in as someone different, as Paul. And let's go ahead and enter his password too. All right, I'm going to get into a site and I'm going to look for one of my favorite visualizations. Thank you very much, Datablick. I think this is a lovely viz, and because it's relatively complex and I'm running it on my tiny little server on top of my Mac, it's going to take a while to render. So this is actually a great one to execute if I want to see what's going on. So that's rendering. Let's come back here, click that button again, and now you can see I have two active sessions, two VizQL server sessions spun up, and one of those sessions is currently in flight. In other words, we're actually doing real work that will be useful. So that's kind of it at, uh, at the top level. You can use uh, ProcessMon, or excuse me, JConsole, to connect to uh, Tableau Server and sort of see what's out there. You can use uh, Agent Ransack to determine the actual ports that you wanna to connect to. For example, here's another one that might be useful. I'll go ahead and, uh, and maybe connect to my Viz portal, my application server. I, uh, again, I just like to kind of keep these all handy. So I'll make another connection, paste that in, and now I'm connected to the Viz portal service. And I can see how much RAM is being used, how many threads, the same sort of stuff. I'll go to mBeans, and you're going to see a lot more stuff here. For example, let's just crack that open. These are all things that I can watch. When someone adds a user to a group, when one creates a site, 
when one deletes a group. So if you're kind of, uh, I don't know how do I put this, uh, you wanna be a peeping Tom against your Tableau server, this is a fantastic thing to keep an eye on. Let's find something that's sort of interesting, like uh, let's keep on scrolling here. Login, okay, I wanna watch people logging in. Right? We'll go to operations and click performance metrics. And thus far, uh, one person has logged in. Uh, let's do this. This will kind of be fun. I'll get out here and let's actually sign out. And I'm going to sign back in as a person who doesn't exist. I don't exist with a, you know, a bogus password. Okay, let's come back here. You can see that the value was zero and one. We'll come back, we'll get that again, and look at that, request failed, one and two. So I had a total of two attempts to log in. Since I bounced the server, uh, one of those failed. And of course, if I come back in and actually log in again, I think, uh, yeah, I did type it right. I was a little bit worried that I hadn't. We come back, there we go three requests processed, one failed with an average latency of 105 milliseconds. So that's it. Uh, you've watched the video, you kind of know how to do the basics of getting in here and finding the MB encounters that you want to potentially use. We're gonna stop the video uh, and you can start reading a little bit more of the blog.